Hey everybody, it's Mike. Welcome back to the channel. So back with a post freeze, January 2024 freeze update. And uh, so I've got everything out of the truck now. So I've got my Utia Ordata seedlings right there. And uh, all these sable Bermudana. I just kind of put them out here for now. And um, you know, all my Bismarcks and you know, I got the windmill palm back there. Washingtonia and I'm just decided to leave everything in the greenhouse for now because it's not hurting anything I just opened it up so it wouldn't get too hot in there um, now I did move the uh, so I have the two sable miner here and then I also have the uh, the four brazoria those are the ones that received the worst of it as far as freezing uh, you know the pots freezing I eventually took these out of back of my truck because the next day after I did that video where they were frozen they were still frozen so it'd been like three days and um, I've noticed there's a little bit just a little bit of decline you know where the spears kind of close up they still look all right though I went ahead and um, you know put a little bit of hydrogen peroxide down the crown because they did get a quick warm up and there was ice in the crown so that's a really good recipe for uh, fungus to develop so I went ahead and brought them out here into the drier air because these went into the greenhouse along with the sable miner and I don't know if you could see this, but um, but this one's kind of, you know, I think it's okay. But uh, that's the Emerald Isle Giant. And there's the other larger Sable Miner. And it does look like this frond has kind of closed up a little. But, you know, I'm just keeping an eye on them. I think they should be all right. But I, I shot some hydrogen peroxide on these uh, too. Just to, and there was some fizzing. It was definitely taking care of some water in there. But... Uh, but yeah, just keeping an eye out on those because um, they received probably the brunt of the worst of the uh, cold. <laughs> the other ones pretty much stayed. Okay, there's some pretty bad looking uh, Texas sables there, but I got all my Texas sables out. Everything's out of the truck, like I said. Um, Livestone and Chinensis are doing okay. And then, yeah, everything else I'm just leaving in the greenhouse because I will have to bring in the bigger palms here uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow night we're gonna get down to 18 degrees Fahrenheit. It's 58 degrees right now, but it feels like it's like 70. It feels nice out here, but uh, we're gonna get another blast of cold for a couple more nights. So the Bismarcks, Washingtonia are gonna go inside. I'll probably leave the windmill palm out here and everything else will stay out here too. I will close up the greenhouse just to give those palms a little bit of extra heat or a little, you know, keep them out of the cold a little bit more. But these are all, I'm just gonna leave all these out here because they should do okay. So, um, so yeah, everything looks uh, okay for now. You know, I'm just keeping an eye on the uh, Brazoria, Sable Brazoria and the Sable Miner because they, they, like I said, they received the worst of the cold with their frozen pots and everything. So for now, um, I'm just gonna leave it there. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. As always, thank y'all for watching. I'll see you on the next one.